this is your girl miss j back with another video on this beautiful afternoon good evening to each and every one i am so glad to come back to you guys on this day uh i've been away again for a few days um troubled i've been um you know sometimes when you're feeling some type of way and you can't shake it i've been feeling that type of way I've been feeling it all over me. You know, um, let me cut my television down a little bit, guys. And uh, I can't shake it. I went to my Heavenly Father in, in prayer and in my thoughts. My brother Christ, I've spoke with him. I know eventually, um, you know, uh, it will be gone from my body. But sometimes when we have things on our mind and something, I wouldn't say that it's, it's bothering me. I would say that it's almost like troubling when there's something on you and you can't shake it. I was watching the other night um, on YouTube on the young man who lost his life, uh, Tyree Nichols. Um, it hit me in my gut when I first saw what happened. And now, and as a mother, to lose a child, senseless, senseless, through violence, it bothered me. And before then, I've been had this feeling on me. My faith is true to God Almighty. My love of my brother Jesus Christ is true, always. But the feeling of something that's on you and you can't shake it off you, it bothers me. You know, I've talked about this many times before of a lot of the things I see that goes on in this world. I'm pretty sure you and many others like you or me, we see it. And we pray to our Heavenly Father, you know, for this world to remove the hate, the violence that's been around for so many years. And it's, it's on me, guys. I don't know what it is that I can say that is, you know, to shake it from me. But to believe in my faith that our Heavenly Father will remove it from me. And I want to come on here and talk with you guys a little bit like I always do when I come on here and I, I share my, my thoughts, my words of how I'm feeling. You know, of so many things that I see that troubles me, that sickens me in my gut that makes me want to put my arm around this world and shake it away from us. That put my arms around this world and put some of that love that we all should have around this world. But there are so many people that don't have it. If I could shake that kindness that kindness that I talk about so much in a lot of my videos, you know, to share it. I do share it. I share it with a lot of people. I share a lot of kindness with a lot of people. And I'm sure that you do as well. For those that I know that I've seen on here who speak these same words that I speak, you know, I thank you for traveling that path that I'm traveling. 
spreading that word of joy and kindness and praying for it each and every day. And I hope that our Heavenly Father will remove this from me of feeling this way. You know, I wake up, I take a deep breath each morning. Like it's, I can feel it all over me now. And I, I don't know what it is. You know, sometimes when you're trying to do good in life. And like I say, that old devil sometimes see you doing good. And he steps in to try to take it away from you. Believe me, he can't take it away from me. But sometimes he whispers. He whispers and say things that normally you won't understand and say why. You know, I hear the whisper and I always say, I hear you but you have no hold over me. I hear you, but I won't follow. I hear you, but you can't lead me. Only one, only two, our Heavenly Father and my brother, Christ himself, that I will follow. And whatever it might be that has me feeling this way is something, I don't know guys. I tried to explain it so I could share it with you guys when I do come on here. And maybe a lot of the stuff that I'm seeing sometime when I turn on the television, when I see something that's being done to others, senseless, senseless stuff that's being done to others. Hate. Maybe that's what I'm feeling inside. You know, you just want to reach out and just grab it and shake it away and spread love and kindness you know, all across this world because we have so many people all across this world who don't want any part of each other, who have hate, who still look at you a certain type of way because of who you are, what you are, whether you red, blue, or green, people still judge. And I wish it was ridden of this world, but it's not. The next time I come on here, guys, I hope and pray that whatever I might be feeling is gone away from me. The feeling of that feeling inside in my chest that God takes it away from me. Or maybe he opens my eyes to show me which he always does. Something that he's always showing me even when it's, it's bothering me, he shows me the way. He opens my eyes and he sheds a light into what I'm feeling. And I can say, now I understand what it is. What are you trying to show me? I see it. And I thank him for it. That's why I haven't been on here in a few days because it was just on me, on me. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you guys for always coming in and, and you know, hearing what I have to say, even when there's not much to say. And you might say, I don't wanna hear that. You know, oh, it's just Miss J, you know, you know, preaching her word. You know, you choose to hear it. It's your choice, as I always say, to receive it. 
without being forced upon you, you can always go to another video and watch someone else. But I thank you. I thank you for coming this way and spending the time that you do spend here at JLUG Blog. I'm going to close this video out. I'm going to wish good health and blessings all across this world to you, your families, everyone that you hold dear in your heart. But remember, guys, always, always, Choose our Heavenly Father first. Our brother, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Choose them. When you don't choose anything else in life, choose them. Blessings to you all, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye for now.